how do I make a song? Like, how do I produce it? And so um, it was around then when my uh, dad bought me my first, uh, this the, the, the most basic version of Ableton. And okay. that's and I, and I, I started just chucking loops together. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Adam. I'm Gareth. So, hey, Gareth. Uh, so this is about you and your journey in music, and we'll talk about uh, the album you have coming out. Yes. Yeah. Looking forward Amazing. to it. Awesome. Awesome. So I, I was able to read a bit about you, but uh, I want you to tell your own story. So uh, talk to me about where you were born and raised. Sure. Um, so I was born in uh, I was born in Kingston, uh, which is just outside of London. Um, and I um, was living in the UK until I was six. And then my family and I moved to France. And okay. um, then I moved back to the UK to finish my higher education. And uh, yeah, now I'm okay. back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay. So born just outside of London, you said, and then ended right. up moving to France uh, yep. at six. So you're pretty young. When yes. you moved? Okay. Yeah. So most of your, yeah, I guess, uh, growing up was done in, in, uh, in France then. Yeah. Until I was about 14. Okay. Very cool. And I did, so you were born with perfect pitch. Is that true? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> that's wild, man. So you could just hear a note and know what it is and just, or hit it. Like that's, I'm so jealous yeah, exactly. of people that can do that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually interviewed somebody that their brother had perfect pitch. And uh, they were telling me that uh, the school bell, like, you know, in between classes, it goes like, ding, when you had to go to the next oh, yeah. class. It wasn't, it wasn't in the right pitch or it wasn't in the right key. It was like slightly off and it would like give them anxiety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I don't have it that bad. I've never had any sort of anxiety around pitch. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I just found that I fascinating. That they um, but uh, yeah, I suppose it does grind my gears a little bit when I can hear something is slightly out of tune, um, like particularly in songs, maybe. Um, yeah yeah that's so it's cool sometimes it's uh sometimes it's um really cool but yeah 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 yeah, for sure so when did you like your your parents found this out or like how did you you know wind up knowing that you could do this yeah it was my parents that found out um uh as my uh mother was uh teaching my mom was teaching a student um uh violin she was a violin t t teacher and oh, okay. uh she um noticed when a student was trying to figure out uh like some notes or something i would be sitting like perched on the stairs um in our old house and uh would sing the note correctly and uh she yeah and uh kind of tested out a bit more and uh yeah it's, that was kind of how they figured it out oh my gosh so you do come yeah. from the musical household then mom was violin yeah i do uh, um, okay yeah i um so so my my Mom and dad are both musical. Um, uh, my dad sang in a choir when he was younger and uh, still does tons of time. Uh, he loves singing. And my mom was a conductor in school orchestras and um, they both play instruments. And uh, my siblings and I are all very musical as well. Did anyone else get the perfect pitch or just you? <laughs> I think everyone's relative, actually, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. relative pitch. Um, but apparently, yeah. Wow. Okay. For some so, reason. Yeah, yeah. Were you put and then once once your mom was like, whoa, like, you know, he can do this, were you put then into like piano lessons or anything like that right away? Or like how did they kind of cultivate or like how did they kind of uh help, you know, nourish that? Well, I I um I actually started um classical piano lessons when i was eight years old um okay. so quite a while before that but i was always singing around the house and being musical singing along to songs that i loved and we had some had some great music playing in our house growing up um yeah that i just really took to and i was always i always had such a fascination um of music and just everything about it um and then yeah from age eight um I was playing piano um, 
but that that kind of classical stuff didn't really interest me I just I, sure. in fact practicing actually really um really just got under my skin got under <laughs> my skin and um I uh ended up starting jazz piano lessons when I was about 11 um and yeah from then on it was just I don't, I don't really know how I got onto jazz or like where that really came from but I just uh my parents put me up for jazz piano lessons and uh yeah from then on just maybe the like I mean, uh like the improv uh how can you kind of improvise on it I don't know like it sounds like you were bored with the classical stuff like was it more like okay I'm gonna read the sheet music and play along and where jazz you can kind of get into like absolutely more of a jammy groove yeah I think it's just how formulaic it all was that just really didn't um well I'm not formulaic that's probably the wrong word but I uh I didn't I I don't know I just didn't really take to that to that yeah. sound very like well and I always, yeah. it, I always learned everything by ear and I still do um okay and uh yeah I guess jazz is jazz is is um Jazz is jazz. <laughs> sure, sure. So you said at eight you were taking piano, but you figured out that you had this like this pitch skill later than eight, or was it before you even started piano lessons? It was before I started oh, piano yeah, yeah. lessons. Um, from around age, I think three or four is what my parents told me. Wow. Um, which is which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, man. I, I like so. Yeah, I'm so jealous. That's so cool. So you yeah so so it's, you started at eight playing piano but didn't love the classical then started doing jazz piano at around eleven you said that's right yeah okay and from there like uh, was that the only instrument you were playing at the time yes okay yeah and shortly after that I um I took up drums um okay I got, uh, an electric drum kit for um my birthday slash Christmas present and uh uh and uh that was also another thing um that are i you, that were really you yeah were, were my you brother just, was yeah. already playing drums before oh, okay. I got a brother um which inspired me massively i always just wanted to thrash on his drum kit and uh um <laughs> i think my parents were a bit too scared of getting me a an actual oh. drum kit and like let's just get you a electric, electric. That, that's so funny because <laughs> i did the same thing my son is seven and like oh. when COVID started, um, yeah, he was about four or five ish, mm -hmm. and he just has all this energy, and we didn't, he couldn't go outside and do anything, get get rid of the energy, and we bought him an electric kit because mm -hmm. he could just put the headphones on and smash it, and it wasn't like we at the time we lived in a place that we had like a town on, so we had neighbors on the sides, and I'm like, you know, connected wall. I didn't want to you know drive my neighbors insane so yeah. we bought him the electric kit <laughs> obviously yeah a concern for sure yeah so yeah he 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 started off on the electric as well so i think oh awesome. great do you have yeah. a, 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 a are you musical yourself do you, you uh, have i'm i can play guitar poorly i mean i never i knew pretty early on that i wasn't going to be you know great so i but i've loved music so i kind of cut in oh. I was able to find my avenue through like radio stations and and being on the radio and did that forever until the pandemic. So right. uh, now I just do this because this took off due to everyone being inside and no one driving around. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So um, I love music. I'm just not very, um, I can't play very well. Um, so I kind of push my younger son and do it. <laughs> But um, no, that's awesome. So you then started playing drums. You uh, write songs at that age, or are you uh, mainly just doing jazz and kind of? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Some people are um, like, yeah, I started I, writing my song at nine, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I always loved the idea of producing and and making my own stuff. I was a very creative um, little kid. I guess I still am, and uh, I uh, yeah, always always wanted to. I, I I always try to find ways to record everything that I was doing and try and like stack it together. Um, not that it was any good, uh, but it's uh, gotta start somewhere. Yeah, of course. And um, 
yeah that after like around around age 13 i was that was that was around the time i was like i really want to like how do other people do this the people that i'm inspired by as well um that shape my own taste or how did how do i make a song like how do i produce it and so um it was around then when my uh dad bought me my first uh this the, the the most basic version of Ableton and okay. that's and I and I I started just chucking loops together and sampling Daft Punk and Disclosure <laughs> and people and you know um that sort of thing. Yeah. So you're doing more on the production side than like a singer songwriter type thing. Yeah, I was at the time. Absolutely. Um, I also love DJing as well. That also really like interests me. I, I, as a kid, I had a, I, I, I um, used to, I, I used to DJ and, um, well, I guess, and uh, put together lots of different tunes that I loved. And yeah. Would you DJ like parties and stuff? Uh, amazingly, yes. People let wow. me. It's just this twelve-year-old <laughs> being like, it's just so. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, that was a uh, that was th- those were those of those years. Um, okay, so you, then when do you start writing your own songs? It's like, you know, it's kind of similar to what you're doing now. Much later, um, I started writing my own songs around. 16 17 i want to okay. say because so i was very moved back I was, to I was, yeah UK at that point okay yes um and i'd um i'd ended up putting uh like sorry um i oh. i ended up, um start i start i was into beat making uh mm-hmm. for for you know as soon as i got into production at that age it was like it was just about making beats and making tracks inspired by daft punk disclosure a lot of electronic music um that's where it started for me um but it wasn't yeah it was only until 16 17 where i was i'm gonna try and write something as like write a song instead of just producing instrumental beats um you know people around me were like you should try and use your voice in these you know over these beats that you're making and Mm -hmm. um i was very reluctant to for a while i was super shy of the microphone and uh that's uh yeah and then from then on that was it yeah do you remember like what kind of gave you the courage to do it or like you 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 know the first time you're like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put some vocals down on this song or i have these lyrics i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do this and uh, did you get like a validation any like quickly after that to or show it to somebody and they're like, oh, wow, like you're really good at this. You should continue kind of pursuing this avenue. Sure. Well, after, after the, the years I was making uh, these, these electronic beats and mm-hmm. primarily house music and if you wanna, if I want to call it that uh, really <laughs> uh, wasn't, wasn't great, but I, uh, it was, around the t- around age 14 15 16 i started discovering um the the likes of tom mish jordan rakai um the this scene in london that was emerging at the time and i um was super inspired by them and uh it was also the pe- just people friends around me saying you should use your voice you should you should really try cuz i was also getting involved in a lot of um theater and productions um when i was younger as well um outside of making music and all things music related so um yeah suddenly just one day i i i it was a yeah around 2017 i was like i'm gonna try and try and sing i did i did a couple of oohs and ahs on old beats that i was making but not like any lead vocal Mm -hmm. kind of stuff um and that song that I recorded is 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 off SoundCloud and the internet now, <laughs> okay. uh, because I'm like just yeah, uh, you've evolved quite a bit since then. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> so you okay? So you do that song, but like putting that up, were 
do you show it to people and there are they like oh wow like this is cool sure. like, yeah people around school and you know, friends of mine are like, you should really keep keep going like stop making instrumentals like get your voice on there and experiment with it and mm-hmm. I was like, okay sure let's uh let's see where this goes and then what uh, i know you put up a song on on uh on set, like your first song on Spotify did really well. Mm. I mean, it has like millions of plays. Like, was that uh, how long down the line of writing did that song come about? And was that really the first song you're like, okay, I, I think this is really, really good. I want to like really push this and pursue like a career as like a solo musician or were you already yeah. prior? I mean, the, t- the, the, the point where I decided like, I want to do music as, you know, for the rest of my life, um, uh, no matter what, Mm-hmm. was was about 16 when it, at the point where I was still making instrumentals um and so after um after I'd finished at um at high school I ended up going I went to to Leeds in the UK the north of England to produce to um pursue a degree in music production okay and it was around that time um I was, I was, you know, I was just so invested doing it all the time. And, um, it, yeah, it was the, um, it, that really was the first time I'd felt so, so proud of something I, I made and wanted to put it out there. Um, I was just putting instrumentals and beats out on, uh, SoundCloud very casually, but that was the first time I thought, maybe I could I could put this for put this out there like fully on streaming platforms and uh, just see where it goes and uh yeah that's that that really that song really kick-started my career yeah uh, and do you remember like was it something that happened fairly quickly like you put it out and then you get like a playlist or like how does it start to really get attention well I would I had been engaging around the um 29 early 2019 i'd started engaging with different producers in uh the sound a, a part of the soundcloud community sure and i was spreading my music the the beats that i was making around that time um with those producers so i'd build up a small i built up a small following on soundcloud um mm-hmm. and then from there and as and as and when i uh post decided to post catharsis um it was it just it, it just suddenly got a lot of reposts from all these friends and kind messages and comments and then um yeah in a in a matter of weeks in fact at, in like about a week actually it hit about 10k and i hadn't at streams and i hadn't experienced anything like that before with anything i put out um which is just um crazy yeah i mean that must have been obviously validating but a thing where you're like whoa this is it's happening like this is working and then yeah you like moving forward from that where you're like okay uh were you concerned like that will the next song do the same thing or was it just like i'm you weren't even thinking that far ahead and you're just like i'm just gonna keep putting music out and riding this no, way that's exactly it happened. right okay um i i really wasn't i was i i guess i just started to hone in on that um particular style of Mm -hmm. of music it felt um very close to me and um and i just ended up putting more and more out there in the same vein not really thinking like oh i hope the next one's gonna do well it was very very casual around that time And when did that kind of change for you? Like, I mean, obviously you have an album coming out and you've got other songs with million streams or more. And was it like, uh, yeah, has it always kind of been like one catharsis came out and people are coming to it? Are you like, how did that change it? Was it like, okay, now I'm going to start playing some shows. People know who I am. Like, uh, like what was kind of the next, I guess, maybe like milestone that, that landed I know the song did come out in 2019, so I don't know how much time you had it been until like the pandemic happened and but all with all that. But I mean, were you really kind of going for it? Was it mainly just like um, going to write music and put it out or was it more of a 
I want to play shows. I want to do all, all the things that come with being an artist. I think when I started to get um, attention from major platforms, uh, such as Soul Action and mm-hmm. um, artists that I, that I really look up to um, and, and, and kept engaging with more producers and artists that I really liked um, through the SoundCloud community and also through social media. Um, I, yeah, I kind of, I just reached a point where it's like, okay, I really need to, I think it's later in 2019, around September time. It's like, okay, I'm really going to go for this now and, um, and put myself out there in, is, in as many ways as possible. Um, uh, putting videos out on Instagram, reels mm-hmm. weren't a thing at that time. I was just uploading clips of me singing uh, and covers of some of my favorite songs and um it i had i had no real uh i had i hadn't i didn't have a the the clearest like direction at that point but i got an offer to um play my first show um on on a, a a a bill with lots of different artists um in peckham in london Mm-hmm. And um, after that time and the turnout of people that ended up, you know, coming to that show is just, um, was just incredible. And um, I, I, don't, I didn't expect it at all. Um, and that was definitely a turning point for me. I was like, I really want to, yeah, put myself out there more now, mm-hmm. um, play, play shows where I can. Um, and uh then the pandemic hit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, but but it, but then I had but then I had more time to I had all the time in the world to um, keep writing and producing, and that's where um, a large portion of my album was when my um, that was when a lot of my album was was born, I guess. Oh, and, really? Uh, okay, yeah. Because the album's called Welcome Home, and from what I read, it, you basically did the whole thing, like, re, you recorded a lot of it, like, in bedrooms and stuff, like, yeah. and it was, like, no big studio or anything like no. that involved. It was just all done, kind of DIY uh, Yeah, I've, in I've been an in-the-box kind of person for, well, this whole time. Uh, I love that. I've always produced everything I've done, um, just, you know, invited... Um, my favorite players and friends of mine to, to my house mm-hmm. uh, or different um, places I was living in during my time at university. Um, and I, that's, it just, it, it was um, all, it all came out of the, um, yeah, my veterans. Um, wow. So tell me when this starts and like how, how, quickly or when do you kind of realize like oh this is going to be an album and you were like a do it you did it in like two different countries right i mean there's a whole lot to the to the album i want to i want to learn about yeah um well i uh i set out to i think it was the it was the end of just right the end of 2019 where i was like yeah maybe i maybe i should put a something you know given how much love people have shown and like um the like just demand for more music because i'd only had two or three songs out by that point on major streaming platforms it's like maybe i could maybe i could put my mind to like a full length or a shorter scale project or a mixtape sort of thing i wasn't quite clear on what what kind of um way i was going to release these songs um Mm -hmm. but um yeah it's it wasn't it, it it's it's taken a lot of different forms honestly it was it it started as a like a a mixtape then i was like let's make it an ep just a shorter scale thing uh and then you know a lot of time has passed and since releasing more singles um i kind of thought now nah, i'm ready for a, a full body of work now and um it, it was around um mid 2020 i was like yeah let's 
let's make a let's make a project something like something sort of full body of work and yeah since then that's where my mind has been um yeah was the were the songs that you wrote during that time period that made made the album like recording it in different locations did that have like an effect on the song or were there songs that you wrote when you were in france versus you know you know the uk or whatever um were they kind of all like snapshots of those time periods or did you have songs that you were working on and then you were just kind of bouncing around and you recorded them as they came a bit of both i'd say um there were there was some uh some instances like you know having moved around a lot over that time um over the years um mm -hmm. i felt less inspired um and and uh, had had a bit of a creative block at times but um no there was there were different um i'd say there were the, yeah very much different snapshots of the, the you know the headspace and the way i was feeling um at the time um at the times of writing each of those songs if that makes sense mm -hmm. and from what i was just reading up on your bio you kind of talk about how you you could kind of see yourself evolve like as an artist almost or as a musician throughout that the time period on the album like so do you feel like the first like the the first songs you wrote compared to what you ended like the album or i don't know if you kind of you probably move songs around for like how the album moved but like can you hear like oh yeah i, I like takes you back like okay i remember when i did this and absolutely i was at this place and i and i and, but when i got to here i was able to like do you know any like off hand can you think of any things that you were like oh yeah like i this i remember like having this moment where i took to the this song to the next level due to whatever yeah i um uh yeah it was very dependent on my like on my frame of mind i'd say and the and also the different songs that i was writing um were um very much like in bits and pieces for a while like they they and and like i think i there were there were times where i where i'd start a lot of an idea and then abandon it for a while go on to a next to, to the next idea mm -hmm. um and you know over time i you know i just i think of more and more ideas and things to bring to the table um and yeah i mean it's it's it came it it all came together in a in a in a strange way just having moved around everywhere and um found uh yeah <laughs> yeah like were there different or i guess a better question would be like when you were in a certain location did you were you at, did you have access to more uh like different instruments or different things that you maybe you didn't have at the other uh, at another place that you're recording or was it basically the same stuff that you kind of just moved it around more or less the same um though there were times i had limitations and sometimes that that like really helped me um it could it could have just been me and my computer at times like i that's how i i write a lot of my songs um just by drawing the notes in with like with the, the the midi tool um in ableton uh and it could be when i'm on the train or uh in a shot in a you know coffee shop or um yeah it's it, it particularly um well in in when i was at uni i i had more or less everything um mm -hmm. around me um i had more limitations when i left um uh leads to go back home to be with my parents um which in a way kind of helped me um if it forced sometimes better ideas and um yeah a bit a bit of a bit of both i'd say <laughs> okay yeah. yeah yeah and so you have the album coming out in a little over a month next month it, it, it's that's right are you, yeah are you doing like with the album coming out and i'm sure you have other singles that are you've put songs out from the album thus far but like uh leading up to the album release or like 
after the album comes out, are you doing any th- sort of like tour to support it? Or is that, are you like, how are you going to, or are you doing any live shows after this, after the album comes out? We are very much in the preparation phase th- this, this year. It's um, where I'm rehearsing with a band. Um, oh, wow. I'm also um, putting a, a solo performance as well something a bit more portable um to potentially take to the states um or just around um uh nothing nothing locked in as of yet but um there's definitely some some talks and things in the pipe i'm sure nice is it i must be a lot different hearing your songs uh with a full band i would imagine like because they're written kind of by yourself you were just you and you're doing it and now you have a band of people around you like are there songs that you're like was it hard to kind of translate some of the music at all or no are there songs that are like whoa this sounds a lot different than the album yeah it, some it's awesome <laughs> yeah i i i um it was it it was a bit of an adjustment um uh making you know having having made all of this on my laptop to them taking it to musicians um yeah. I often able to communicate like my thoughts and feelings it's very um innate i just feel it when i when i do it um and don't really think about um i guess music think about it in musical terms per se uh, my theory is very limited, so sometimes I feel there's a bit of a language, like almost like a language barrier, um, right. communicating um, with the musicians. Um, I rely on my ear solely, um, and it's and yeah, it's been it's been challenging at times, but fun. Um, and and I also have come to accept that it's not going to sound it's it it can't sound like the record entirely like it's Mm -hmm. like what i produced as a whole but it's it's really fun to um experiment and um and work through the different songs with these different musicians um who um who I love playing with and have really inspired me. Wow. And moving forward, like if you're writing new songs, do you take that into consideration on now? Like, Oh, I wonder if like this will work with a live band or like changing parts or at all to kind of accommodate maybe what would be a live set in the future or you just doing it similar to how you've always done it. Yeah. I've never, um, well, Prior to like working with a band a lot, I hadn't really thought about, I didn't really think like, would this work with the band? Right. You know, um, that wasn't, that didn't really occur to me at all until, until, yeah, I started playing with a band more. Mm-hmm. And uh, now I, now I do think about it for sure. Like any ideas that I have, um brewing I'm like oh, yeah this could this is this is very band worthy um so yeah yeah that's cool very very cool well thank you so much gareth for doing this man i appreciate your time today oh yeah no thank you so much for the opportunity of course i have one more great. question oh this has been so much fun i have one more question for you uh before cool. i let you go though i want to know if you have any advice for aspiring artists don't give up and be patient um and good things will come your way. Bring me the